Christian, what is the best setup for um, outsourcing my IT? Do I have to have my own CTO in my home office or is it also possible to have a whole IT team in Ukraine? Or what's, what's the best? What has history shown what the best setup might be? It's actually very difficult to say what, what the best solution is uh, because the best solution is very individual. It's very individual related to what kind of company you are and what uh, profiles that you already got on, on, on staff. Now, <clears throat> I would say the majority of our clients, they have some person that drives the, um, the development uh, team from uh, onshore. The main reason for this being that the business and how the market reacts to that specific business is something that is better discovered and experienced onshore. And at the end of the day, what you are doing with your development is that you're responding to these, uh, these requirements from the market. So <clears throat> you need to be able to identify them and then turn it into a specification that can then be turned into uh, to working code and, and solutions. However, there are also a handful of, uh, of our existing clients that do have uh, what we call product owners um, uh, in Ukraine and in their team. Um, the business owners would then typically be, uh, be sales uh, people or business owners and the organizations would typically also be uh, of, a, of a smaller size. Um, so it is definitely possible but there's, there's no black and white best uh, and worse. Um, it, it actually all depends on, uh, on, on the company. Um, so, but the profiles there uh, that you can, can find in Ukraine can fill such positions.